Monica from Ocean Protocol. An algorithmic crypto trading bot can manage your investments during the 24-7 crypto markets, and it can even outperform manual trading. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create your own algorithmic crypto trading bot and use it with a custom Ocean Protocol trading strategy. Let's start by finding the instructions for installing our bot on this video. So we're going to the Ocean Protocol GitHub, which is located at github.com slash ocean protocol. And we're gonna search for the repository called Predict ETH. So I'm gonna search Predict here for Predict ETH. And within this repository, you'll find an ideas directory right here. So we'll click on that. And the file we want is called Algorithmic Trading Flow. This is the file that contains all the steps that we're going to use in this video to install our algorithmic trading bot. At the top of the file, you'll see a short introduction explaining that the Ocean Protocol custom trading strategy that we're gonna use is used in conjunction with the Freak Trade open source project on GitHub to create our own algorithmic crypto trading bot. Now we need to install three prerequisites. So in order to set up our environment, we need to install Docker Desktop, Telegram, and create a Telegram bot. Make sure that you have Docker up and running in the background so we can install this properly. Okay, we're following these terminal commands here. So open up your terminal, and in any directory of your choosing, we're going to create our bot. So the first command is make a directory called ft underscore user data and we're gonna change to that directory and curl from the stable branch of the Freak Trade GitHub, the docker-compose.yml file. And we're going to pull the Freak Trade image by running docker-compose pull. And we're gonna create our user underscore data subdirectory with the next command here that I'm just gonna copy and paste. And lastly, we'll create our configuration file, our config.json file. And the config.json file, in order to create this, we have to answer a series of questions. Now, the answers to the questions are encouraged here in the document. And so for this example, I'm just gonna follow the steps just as they're written out. So do we wanna enable dry run trading or live trading? Dry run trading doesn't use real money, it's simulated trades. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna elect yes. And the stake currency I'm gonna have is US dollars. And the stake amount can either be a finite number or unlimited. Now, if this is a finite number, that's what my bot is going to trade all the time. For example, if I have a $10,000 stake amount, and my bot profits $3,000 on top of that, instead of trading $13,000, it's only gonna trade $10,000 over and over. So regardless of the snowballing effect of my investments. Whereas if this is unlimited, then if I profit $3,000 or more, then my bot is gonna trade all $13,000 or more as time goes on. So I want this to be unlimited. Now the maximum number of open trades, I would like to be five. Now the dry run wallet defaults to $1,000. And if I have five maximum open trades, then that means I'm risking about $200 per trade. Also, I would like to see the bot enter and exit a few more trades. So that's why I bumped this up. Okay, the next question is, do we want the strategy to define the time frame or override this in our configuration file? So the time frame is the time frame of the candles, and a valid time frame is going to depend on the exchange that you use. Now, I would like the strategy to define the time frame. That way, if I have a bunch of strategies in my strategies folder, each one can define its own time frame. So I could have 15 minute candles or five minute candles, depending on the strategy that I choose to run with my bot. If I override this in the config file, of course, that is the time frame for all the strategies. So for a little more nuance, I'm gonna select the first option. And the display currency, I'm just gonna leave as US dollars. And the exchange that I'm gonna use for this example is Kraken. Of course, you can pick any exchange that you would like. 
With live trading, this matters a lot more because you're going to be putting your exchange keys and using your wallet. For dry run trading, this doesn't matter so much, of course. Do you want to enable Telegram? Yes. I would like to show you the bot entering and exiting trades via Telegram chat client. You can also have Telegram on your phone, which is a really convenient way to see your bot trading in real time. So why for yes. And my Telegram token, I'm just going to copy and paste here. Okay. And the chat ID, I am also going to copy and paste here. Okay, do we wanna enable the REST API that includes the free QI? Yes, you can navigate to 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 port 8080 after your bot is created to see the bot entering and exiting trades. It's a nice dashboard to be able to use. So, the API server listen address has to be 0.0.0.0 .0 as suggested for Docker installs. In the API server username, I'm just gonna leave as Freak Trader, and I'm gonna enter an easy password here. And this is the creation, successful creation of our config.json file. Now, if I list the ft underscore user data directory, you'll see the docker-compose.yml file and also the directory we created called user underscore data. If I list out the user underscore data directory, there's the config.json file. You'll also see a strategy subfolder in here that we're gonna use a little later on in the video. We've made it to part two of the instructions, which is to implement a trading strategy. And the first thing we have to do is go to the Ocean Market and connect our wallet to the Polygon network. Then we go to this link that is the trading strategies page, and it begins with algorithmic cryptocurrency trading freak trade strategy number two. We have to click on this button, which initially says get. I've already paid for this, so mine says download, but initially it'll say get. And of course the base price is free, but you have to pay some Matic gas fees. So afterwards you can click this download button and we'll sign for the transaction. And that'll allow us to download the file. This is a .py, a Python file called EMA cross strategy. So I'm just gonna save that to my desktop. And back in our directory, user underscore data, there's a subdirectory called strategies and that's where we need to put our downloaded file. So I'm gonna place that in my strategies folder. Okay, in order for our bot to use this strategy, we need to copy and paste the class name, not the file name, but the class name into our docker-compose.yml file and replace sample strategy with EMA cross strategy. Let's talk about how our trading strategy works before we go live with the bot. Um, this is called EMA cross strategy and I developed this strategy if we scroll to the bottom of the file to use relative strength index RSI uh, Bollinger Bands, which is denoted as BB, and EMA5 and EMA21. The EMA5 and EMA21 are exponential moving averages. The EMA21 moves slower than the EMA5 relative to recent price changes in the candles. And when the EMA5 crosses above the EMA21, so this is called an EMA cross strategy, we call that a golden cross in technical trading signals. And a golden cross typically indicates a bullish movement in the pricing of the crypto pair in this instance. In the populate exit trends, we have the EMA21 crossing above the EMA5, which indicates a death cross, which is the opposite, a bearish trend. Um, of course, also you see the relative strength index and Bollinger Bands noted here. So the way this is designed is that you can either have a golden cross 
or these two indicators are satisfied. The RSI is above 29 and the close of the current candle is less than the lower Bollinger Band. So basically that means that we have an RSI that isn't too risky. It's a low value, so it's an easy to tra satisfy trading signal. And when the close of the current candle is less than the lower Bollinger Band, then we have a bargain of a cryptocurrency pair. So you can either have that condition, those two conditions, or the golden cross. And in the exit trend, if the RSI goes above 71, then it's overbought and it's seen as risky to hold. And that the close of the current candle is above the middle Bollinger Band, then it's selling at a premium. Or if we have a death, death cross, either of those two pairs of conditions should be uh, selling signals. So. Let's go to the top of our file to see a little more detail about how this strategy works. So we've got a five minute candle time frame and a stop loss of 3.7%. Now that means if your cryptocurrency pair falls 3.7%, then we go ahead and exit that trade because we don't wanna keep losing money. And the minimal ROI between zero and 90 seconds is 20.8%. Uh, between 90 and 251 seconds is 15.4%, and between 251 and 606 seconds is 6.1%. Now, this is assuming a very volatile market where we can capture large ROIs on our trading uh, pairs. Now, I put these values here because these are results from a previous machine learning uh, optimization for this strategy. You can change these uh, ROIs, stop loss, uh, candle timeframes, everything that you want in this file is editable. Um, so I recommend strongly that you use machine learning to hyperopt your trading strategy and make it less risky um, and also more profitable. You also um, should backtest uh, pretty frequently your trading strategy just to refine it over current market conditions because depending on market conditions, this could either gain you a lot of money or lose you a lot of money. So in a bear market, you probably want a more conservative strategy. In a bull market, a more growth strategy, depending on your uh, appetite for risk. So we'll continue on now to our terminal to bring our bot up and it just takes one command to bring our bot to go live. Before we type in that terminal command, we first need to start the chat with our Telegram bot. Then we can type in docker-compose up-d in order to spin up our bot as a daemon. A few seconds later, you'll see that the status is running and we're using the EMA cross strategy with Kraken. By default, we're searching for the top 20 volume currency pairs on Kraken Exchange. These currency pairs need to satisfy the trading conditions that we specified in the entry and exit trends at the bottom of the EMA cross strategy.py file. When our bot finds a currency pair to trade, it will enter a trade showing a blue circle and saying long. In this case, we're long on Litecoin to USD. We've got Ape to USD as well, USDC to USD, and so on until we reach a maximum of five open trades. It's important to note that it could take minutes or it could take even over an hour to find trades to enter. And that's because the market conditions dictate whether or not those trading signals are satisfied. We've done all the steps to create our own algorithmic crypto trading bot. This trading strategy is a great start to profitable trading, although it doesn't guarantee profits. Of course, I strongly recommend using these instructions to backtest your strategy and to hyperopt your strategy using machine learning. The links are in the instructions and the link to the instructions is also in the bio. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future.